Hi, my name is Bridget McMillan. I'm a medical doctor specialized in internal medicine, so I'm a specialist physician. I recently won a DKMS special award, which will be funding my PhD project mapping hematology services in South Africa. It was incredibly exciting to win this award and I feel very honored and privileged. I've been interested in clinical hematology since I was an intern and community service doctor. When I was working in internal medicine, I had a young 15-year-old patient who we diagnosed with HIV and an aggressive lymphoma at the same time. Uh, she also happened to be pregnant. It was extremely challenging to diagnose her, to get treatment into her. And the beauty of hematology is that if these diseases are caught early enough and we can treat them well, these patients have brilliant outcomes. And uh, six years later, she sent me an email to let me know that she was still well. And these are the things that um, are so rewarding about, about hematology and in treating these patients. My research project is called Mapping Hematology Services in South Africa and is going to be looking at all of the different facilities that are able to provide hematology services in the country. We're going to be looking at access to treatment from chemotherapy to stem cell transplant in particular. Um, which is, a, which is a, a broad focus of this project. We will use all of this data and all of this information in geographic information systems to overlay the data sets and try and identify where the gaps and barriers to care are, as well as what the facilitators to care might be, so that we can then take this information and through focus group interviews with policymakers and experts, get a better idea of how to focus improving our policies in healthcare, in haematology in particular, um, to provide better access and equity in care. We know that we have inadequate services for the diagnosis and management of blood cancers or haematological diseases in the country. There are many obstacles facing patients who need transplants in South Africa. The first is that there are not enough transplant facilities in our country. There are a total of 13 facilities in both public and private. All of these are located in large cities. Only four of these 13 centres are located in public and only one of these four public centres has comprehensive stem cell transplant services. There are not enough clinical haematologists in our country and the number of people with blood cancers and blood diseases is increasing. There are only around 60 actively practicing clinical haematologists in South Africa at the moment to serve a population of over 60 million people. This is about one clinical haematologist per million population. To contrast this to the United Kingdom, which has a similar population size, there are over 900 clinical haematologists in that country. As the capacity for stem cell transplant in South Africa is so small, this means that for many patients it's not accessible or a feasible treatment option and their doctors have to manage their diseases as best they can without it. This has an impact on the amount of time patients are able to spend disease-free as well as on their survival rates. If someone doesn't live near a transplant centre, there are many obstacles that they need to overcome. These may include things like travel time, the cost of transport, long waiting times, potential costs of accommodation depending on how far the patient stays from a transplant centre. It's also important to bear in mind that stem cell transplants require patients to be admitted often for weeks at a time and stem cell transplants can be incredibly tough on the body, physically and psychologically, and it's important to have a good support system at this time. Patients that are staying far away from transplant centers may not have access to their friends, family, and loved ones, and this is particularly difficult in these cases.